Have you ever wondered why bikes like the Classic 350 and the Highness 350 have lower peak power figures and cannot rev beyond 6-6.5 six, six thousand RPM? The short answer is that these have long stroke engines. Long stroke and higher torque figures feels reasonable. But long stroke and lower peak power figures does not intuitively make sense given that power is a function of torque. So let's go back to the basics first. What does an engine need to make power? Air, fuel, compression and spark. The limiting factor in most cases is air. How? When it comes to air, it is always a compromise between air velocity and the air quantity. Just like the water velocity increases as we put our thumb on the opening of a hose, a smaller intake diameter and smaller valves lead to a higher air velocity in a long stroke engine. The benefit? Air and fuel mix better and hence lead to a better combustion. The downside though is that by making the holes and the valves smaller, we limit the maximum amount of air that can get inside that engine, hence compromising on performance at high RPMs. So is that it? No, it's not. In a long stroke engine, the piston needs to travel a longer distance between the top dead and the bottom dead center. So for the same RPM, the piston speed needs to be higher. This not only increases the stress on the connecting rod and the piston, requiring them to be stronger and heavier, but also introduce a peculiar problem where the piston gets pulled down faster even before it can completely harness the downforce from the combustion. 